<laughs> yes, huh? we do. Look at it. Let's take a look at one of the uh, watchdog cameras, George Hopper Road. You can see flakes coming down right now. And you know what? We're starting to see some messy roads around the Arlington area. It is looking like it's uh, uh, pretty bad out there. So we will see probably two to four inches as we head into the night tonight in specific spots. This is Marysville. A friend of mine on Twitter just t uh, tweeted this out saying this was just in about an hour time span. And you could see that accumulation on the grass and a little accumulation on the road. Since we don't have vehicles on the road and temperatures are falling, this is the spot I'm concerned about. Also, we are looking at more showers coming in off the coast. I do want to zoom in because there's this finger that stretches all the way down into North Seattle, where we've been seeing reports of some wintry precip out there as well. Uh, this isn't accumulating much at all, if anything, but I just wanted to showcase that further to the north is where we're seeing some of that accumulation anywhere from Camino Island uh, on up into uh, I was going to say portion of the San Juans, but this band is now shifting east towards Mount Vernon, uh, Arlington. Here's a spot that we've been seeing a good dose of uh, precip, right, of snowfall, and uh, that's where we're seeing some slick roads. So tomorrow morning could be very, very dicey in this general spot here. I'm saying anywhere from two to four inches on average, maybe isolated five plus, and this is going to stick with us, I'm thinking, until about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning as a strong convergence zone is coming in through the strait and it's just hitting uh, parts of the northwest interior right in the face, and that's what's going to create some slick roads going into tomorrow. Also, by the way, I mentioned those showers coming in off the coast. We've got more precipitation we're going to be fighting with, and that's going to be moving through Chehalis and Olympia up into Tacoma as we go into the morning hours tomorrow. So here is the future track, all right? White is snowfall and pink is a mix. I do want to focus on the white part here. Uh, this is 1.30 in the morning. Notice where we're still seeing it and notice where we're now seeing some snow accumulate as well. So that way we'll be pushing through. Uh, north of Everett's just going to be a mess going into tomorrow. This is 5 o'clock now and it's still not letting up. We still have some flurries trying to get to, to Olympia. Might not reach all the way there. It does look like we'll see a batch of, 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 of snowfall around Chehalis as we go into tomorrow morning 9.30. And at that time, we finally start to see this convergence zone uh, winding down. So it's going to take some time. So tomorrow morning, those locations could be very, very slick. And then we'll get some sun breaks. Temperatures will climb back into the 40s and it won't look too terrible. Uh, other locations will just be dry. All right. I do have us seeing sun breaks tomorrow, uh, but we will definitely start off with cloud cover in the morning as temperatures are very, very chilly. I got us topping out at 45 tomorrow. The idea is we're going to see the snow and rain decrease throughout the day. Okay. So the morning will be the slickest. And then we go into Saturday. Looks like partly cloudy conditions. And Sunday, we will be mostly sunny as we spring forward.